Well, video games are a multi-billion dollar industry right now, and with eSports, that popularity is creating opportunities for kids to play together on a team. News on Six's Ryan Gillen introduces us to Bartlesville's eSports team. Athletics are an easy way for kids to have fun while learning valuable skills. Nowadays, there's a new path kids can take with a headset, monitor, and controller. You gonna try going to Fortnite practice tomorrow? John Merritt coaches yep. the On The Rock eSports team. After right. playing soccer as a kid, he's taking what he learned from the sport and applying it to this one. The values that I learned from soccer was teamwork, uh, discipline, um, just how to build relationships with people um, in a way that helped me to function in a unit. And so being able to take those skills and apply them to eSports, getting kids in a community of people, I think is really important. More than 60 kids are on his roster. I usually see like two to four kids asked to join the program every week. Gathering five days a week to play other schools across the nation with just a click of a button. He's recruited mentors like Jedediah Lowe to provide healthy guidance for these kids. You just see the friendships budding, little teasing here and there, uh, but just they're all having fun and it's amazing. They put so much work into it. It may be non-traditional, but John says the opportunities eSports could provide for these kids in the future are endless. Why would you not want to create an environment for these kids to be able to go to that has healthy structure that can help them to implement discipline? That way they're not just blowing eight hours a day playing Fortnite, but they're taking their Fortnite hours and they're working as a unit, as a team, and then they can potentially get a college scholarship for it. Getting all the same benefits of traditional sports while sitting down. And then their parents walking up and like just talking to me about how like they never experienced something like this before. Like this is the first time they're getting outside of their comfort zone and they're blossoming and they're lighting up. Um, to me, that just, it, it made it worth it. In Bartlesville, Ryan Gillen, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.